Covering Montgomery County tonight, one of our neighbors is on a mission to make the neighborhood safer for his son and their neighbors. This is three year old Hunter. He has a scar with 100 stitches across his face. Yeah, back in May, Hunter's mom was pushing him in a stroller across Clapper Road at Village Fountain Drive in Germantown. They were both in the crosswalk when a driver crashed right into that boy. Then Hunter's mom was fine. Our Delia Gonsal spent some time at that intersection today. She found out a lot of people think it is dangerous and there is a warning. Some of the images you will see in the next minute or two are very graphic. Oh, he's amazing, beautiful. He's my world. Now I'm just lost. Three year old Hunter is almost three months into his recovery. Back in May, his mother was pushing him in a stroller across Clopper Road at Village Fountain Drive in Germantown. They were in the crosswalk when a car hit the boy. And a warning, with dad's permission, we're going to show you what that car did to his little face. And it was a gash, like two, three inches wide. It looked like his skull was coming out of his head. After 100 stitches and plastic surgery, Hunter is slowly on the mend. His father now on a mission. I want them to change that light and every other light. We timed the crosswalk. You have about five seconds to cross until the flashing hand starts counting you down. The sign says that's when you should be getting to the other side. But we found that was nearly impossible for many. It gives me enough time to cross the street, even though I walk kind of slow. But I have a housemate who is disabled and he can't make it in one shot. It's the vehicles that are turning don't understand that the pedestrian has the right of way. Just take a look at what happened to eight-year-old Brittany and her mom. As they stepped out into the crosswalk, we spotted four turning cars cut them off. By the time the fifth car stopped to let them cross, they only had four seconds left. How did you feel when you crossed that big street? Scared. Why? Because the, some of the cars didn't stop. And your mommy even put her arm around you and you held on to her. Why? <laughs> Because she's my mom and she protects me. As for Hunter's mom, well, Keller gave us the citation. She was fined for not yielding to the vehicle that struck her child because the crosswalk had timed out. The family attorney says while two other cars stopped to let them cross, that striking car in the curb lane did not. No car can overtake another car when other vehicles are letting a pedestrian cross. Scary. It made me just, it made me not stop until I get someone to listen to me. The county says while there is sufficient time to cross this road, they don't control the crosswalk. The state does. I'm still waiting to hear back from the state in regards to that. Now, I checked in with police as well. They are looking into this case and whether or not speed cameras will help in this intersection. I can tell you that it is state law. When a pedestrian is in the crosswalk and they have the signal to walk, they do have the right of way and cars should yield to them. In Germantown, Delia Gonsalves, WUSA 9.